What is going on guys? My name is Gravity. Today we will be reacting to Mac Lethal Dis. Alright guys, today we are going to react to Mac Lethal's Dis. Alright, so I've already seen it, but I want to explain to you guys why it's awful. So, a lot of you guys, or not you guys, but a lot of people are saying that Mac destroyed him. I like Tom's diss and all, but Mac just blew Tom out of the water. I'll explain why he's wrong. And first of all, when Mac brings up his daughter, Tom didn't diss his daughter at all in the first place. And let me, let me, let me bring that, let me go back and we can bring that up all right when you're going broke and you got a daughter at home okay right there he dissed his money not his daughter you pushing 40 your style is corny stop rapping and do some parenting that's not really this his daughter either he just said stop rapping do some parenting so as you can clearly see Tom McDonald didn't diss his daughter at all. At all. So people that are saying Tom dissed his daughter. He really didn't. And Mac Lethal brought that up in this video. He didn't diss your daughter, dude, at all. Anyways, most people are saying that Mac won this rap battle. Which is very... It's not true at all. So we're going to analyze this video and I'll show you guys why Mac lost <clears throat> I got a little story about a single white female her name is Tammy but you'll need some fine details so right here he brings up the fact that Tom McDonald is a girl all right Remember this. She gets up on the internet and argues with strangers because inside she's full of insecurity and anger. She tries to be edgy, that's her rap ploy. But back in the day she was a frat boy. She says everybody hates her but no one even cares. So now I'm gonna grab the bitch and throw her by the hair. Hey yo, single white female, it's time to make the J burn. Where's your fucking balls, bitch? You acting like you gray worm. How you gonna let a little tweet hurt your feelings? Did I bruise your ego, little girl? What are you revealing? There's the second time that he brings it up. I know this whole track is based off him being a female, but he really rides this topic on this track. Your whole fucking gimmick is claiming everybody's too PC and sensitive. So why you want some victim shit? If somebody don't like you, that shit straight troubles you. Why the fuck you acting like an SJW? Third one. You rapping like you want to make America great again, but you're not even American, Tammy. You're Canadian. You live in the safest fucking country in the world, and you act like you're a press man. You're such a little girl. Speaking Fourth. of little girls, you want to diss my daughter? Damn, that's a cheap shot. Right there, he brings up that he dissed his daughter. He did not diss his daughter at all. At all. He didn't, he never came directly for his daughter, all right? That's so damn disgusting, man. Well, I can throw cheap shots, too. Let's talk about the fact your girl... Also, this bar is way too stretched out. Way too stretched out. And you're such a little girl. Speaking of little girls, you want to diss my daughter? Damn, that's a cheap shot. That's so damn disgusting, man. Well, I... He says, disgusting man right here. Little girls, you want to diss my daughter? Damn, that's a cheap shot. That's so damn disgusting, man. Well, I can throw cheap shots, too. Let's talk about the fact your girlfriend used to suck off R.A. the Rugged Man. Dude, that was so stretched out. That rhyme was, like, so far apart from each other. Based on the beat and where the syllables and rhymes should be, it just didn't fit. You want to say I'm rapping filler? Your girl is a king of the dot groupie that be letting rappers filler. We got mutual friends. They gave me dirt. These are facts. Also, the fact that he reached out to his friends, they still aren't viable sources because they could be saying anything to him. They could literally be saying things because they're they're Tom's friends, all right? So they could be saying lies to try and make Mac look stupid when he makes this track. Your girlfriend ghost writes half your raps. Also, the fact that he brought up his girlfriend ghost writing his raps it's like kind of a diss it really you know unless you know ghostwriting is seen as a problem when 
someone puts out that this is their song. They wrote this, they did that, all right. And then it comes out that, you know, someone's been ghostwriting for them. That's the problem, all right? That's when it becomes, like, iffy. But, uh, like, his girlfriend helping him, it shows a connection there between him and his girlfriend. And it's, it's something positive, you know? And Tom still does write his own music. It's just his girlfriend maybe is writing half his raps. I don't know. It might be true. Probably. Mm, I don't know. Well, I don't know. On YouTube, the biggest video of mine has more views than all your fucking videos combined. Speaking of YouTube, you claim that I'm irrelevant. I got two million more fucking subscribers than you do. He has two million more subscribers than Tom. But his views aren't really going anywhere. His views aren't bumping, man. His views have been down 50% this month. 50%, dude. And he has 2 million more subscribers than Tom. You wear women's clothes and Nicki Minaj braids. This is the fifth time that he's brought up the whole girl thing cuz you got to hide the fact that you secretly got age you think that i'm not paid silly bitch i'm a millionaire you want proof meet me at the bank and i'm gonna kill you there white on white violence damn it's snowing you're the fucking rap equivalent of Candace Owens i heard you block people on twitter because they told you Mac lethal is bigger sweet jesus you're bitter what's the matter lele pons did my leap sixth injection get stuck in your bjj wrong oh what's the matter meth lamore you need another stupid white boy gimmick to move some units at the record store you're not a lyricist you're not controversial no one is offended by you and that really hurts you bro you lie about your height you're the thing is about tom's thing he doesn't really want to offend anyone necessarily it's just he doesn't he doesn't like how offended people get now. You know, he he doesn't he doesn't want people to get offended, but he doesn't like how easily people get offended now. Everything has to be so PC now and it's just the world went the world just yoked and like dog you could say one small thing that no one should be offended about, but they'll get offended about it. That's it. That's all Tom is really saying because it is a problem. Anyways, he doesn't want anyone to get offended. He just doesn't really like when people get easily offended. You're not 6'5", you little man. You look like Kid Rock had a meth baby with Lil Xan. You look like Lil Pump had a crack baby with Bad Baby. What's the matter, Elsa? Why you acting sad lately? I'm a martial artist. You fake wrestle, bitch. You aren't the man, but you do look like Becky Lynch. So right here, this is where, like, I get it. You're trying to back up your point, but you shouldn't need to have to back up your point in a diss track. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, sure, like, lyrically, yeah, sure, go ahead. If you want to add that second layer to the bar, go ahead, dude. I'll do it. But, like, this right here Ladies is just Ladies and gentlemen, stupid. coming to the ring right now, this man is a Canadian who would give... So, does it look like him? A little bit, but... Who knows? Who knows if this is actually him? Who knows? Anything to be American, standing five foot eight, I mean, uh, six foot five, weighing 72 pounds, Tammy McDogford. Oh shit, let's watch this wrestling video. Oh my god. So, this. Dogford. Oh shit, let's watch this wrestling video. This right here. He's literally trying to get him off the ropes. Don't know why this is brought up. Super stupid. I get he's trying to be like, oh, you're gay. Like, dude, who cares, bro? This is a wrestling match. He's trying to get him off the ropes. Oh, my God. What kind, what kind of fucking move is that? What is that? <laughs> I, first of all, I hate his laugh right here. 
It's nothing like this is just me. This is dude, his yeah, I just hate how fake this part is. I really hate it. Like I get it. Of course it's not going to be real, but like I hate how fake it is. It's that's just me. That's just me. That is like whatever apart from the diss track. This is apart from the diss track. It's just I hate I hate it. <laughs> In your diss song, you tried to say that I was gay, right? You're the motherfucker that be dressing up in gray tights. So this is about the sixth or seventh time he brought up the whole girl thing, basically. You another half naked. Or implying it. Get men can fucking play fight. You just need an excuse to lay there and take pipe. In America, hog is another word for dick, which is the reason that you have it tatted underneath your lip. Cause you love dick, bro. You give enough. Also, this is about the third time he's brought up him being gay. Said, you wear nail polish, motherfucker. Nuff said. Nail polish shouldn't be a thing that defines you being gay or you being a female at all in this time and era this time and era god that sounds stupid in this time right now there's a lot of you know the whole aesthetic thing going on people have certain aesthetics certain types uh of styles and everything and the whole emo or um you know painted nails and like um face tats and everything this is this time, right now, is huge for that. You know what I mean? So, if he wants to do that, let him do that, dude. I don't get why that's, like, you're gay, or, like, you know, something like that. So, that, whatever. You ain't skilled, be quiet. You look like Billie Eilish did too many pills and got filled with violence and killed her stylist. I heard your diss, bitch. I ain't bust a sweat. You diss ICP, homie. Your girl's a juggalette. You say I'm in my 30s like this shit is a bad thing. I'm healthy and I'm rich and I'm living my rap dreams. My kids go to a nice private school. I got a sick fucking house. I own my own. I don't think anyone cares. No one cares about what your house looks like. What your kids do. No one cares, man. Literally no one. No one cares. How the fuck you gonna try to say I'm having an identity crisis? You're a 30 year old man dressing like this. I wear normal clothes. I don't need controversy. Again, coming for his whole style thing. I get it. It's like a rap battle, but it's like. I don't know. I, I guess that's just me being weird. Again, shock value. I grab the mic and pour my soul. Let this shit be a lesson in how you thirst fame. From here on out, your name is infinitely cursed, man. Cause if you say your last name, you have to say my first name. Bitch, my fucking rap name is in your fucking birth name, Mac. I also think he stretched that bar a bit. Just a little bit. Um, but anyways, that's me analyzing this track. He brought up the girl thing about seven times, I believe. And then came for stupid things like three times and I just think this was an awful diss track you know what I mean like he just brought up the same points over and over and over and over and it was just super bland super bland I get that Tom brought up Mac being old about I think it was four times in his diss track, but he also had different things to say. He also had variety in there and like a bunch of hard hitting points. And Mac just said the same thing over and over and over. And it's it was just so bland and boring. Like, oh my god. Anyways, this is why I think Tom won. Uh, I hate this diss track. It's dude, it's so bad. I don't understand why everyone's like, oh, oh, Mac one, Mac one, bro, Mac, Mac did awful, awful, awful. This is a terrible diss track. It, dude, it's just so, it's so boring. It's the same thing over and over. So, anyways. That's why I think Mac won this, but, uh, yeah. If you guys want me to react to some more YouTube rapper diss tracks, like the one with Dax, Chase, Screw, 
let me know. Let me know, because I will do it. I will analyze it, too, if you guys want me to do that, break down things. And, um, yeah. Anyways, I gotta pause it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new, become a Blue Jay, and I will see you next time. Boop!